The army says it's concerned about a video currently circulating on social media platforms. It's showing an individual suing and using SANDF camouflage material and equipment. It has been confirmed that the uh, person in the video now does rather not have permission to possess uh, uh, rather, of course, uh, Defence Force uh, patent materials and it's not even currently affiliated in any way with the South African Defence Force. So for more on this, we're now joined by Spirit Lamini, the army's head of communications. Did you tell us exactly Exactly what uh, has been established regarding this video. Spiro, thank you so much for your time and a very warm good morning to you. The video is viral, but I mean, from your investigations and the data before you, what, what, what have you found regarding the individual and the material they're seemingly suing, uh, you know, that look like SANDF affiliated material? What have you found? Pierre, please check if you're not muted for me. Um, I can see that you are responding. However, we cannot hear you. Yeah, um, there's a voice that I'm hearing as you speak, so I couldn't get hold of all the, the, the questions Perhaps you asked. Perhaps let me repeat the However, question. However... Let, let me just repeat the question yes. uh, for you, Pierre, so that it's clear. Yes, Regarding the video that is currently going viral on social media, uh, I'm sure that you have conducted investigations. You're trying to establish what exactly is happening, who the individual is, and uh, why are they suing what looks like SANDF uh, material. What have you found in terms of the data regarding this video? Look, let me go back a bit. When the video came to our attention, which was yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, we then informed our military police who are responsible to investigate uh, such matters. And they were also in, in, uh, informed our defense intelligence members to actually dig deep into um, the, this matter. The investigation continues. I confirmed with the chief of the army last night that uh, he has dispatched a military police uh, to uh, investigate the matter. Thus far, we have not yet um, come to a conclusion as to where these people were and who are they and uh, how they got the material. So the investigation still continues. Mm. How, how serious, you know, is, is this case? Obviously, you've handed them, or rather this case, over to the relevant law authorities and enforcement officials. But how serious is a case as this, where someone has been found with any material that gives an impression of an SANDF, you know, a, a marking, a signage, branding, patent? Like, how, how serious is it for anyone to be found conducting such behavior? Look, it, 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 it's, it's pretty serious. It's pretty serious in the sense that as a, a security agency, we, we are distinctly identified by the, um, the clothes we wear and the, the equipment we use. And those equipments and, and the clothing we wear are equipment that uh, can conduct uh, serious um, uh, wars uh, 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 against any adversaries. And therefore, to um, uh, mimic uh, a member of the Defence Force is, uh, in, by nature, a very, very uh, serious matter. Mm -hmm. And um, the laws uh, governing such are that uh, anybody found to, to be uh, uh, mimicking a Defence Force member in any form or kind uh, is, uh, can be jailed for up, up to five years. So it is very, very serious because we need to be identifiable by any member of the society and we need to that's why we always carry our our badges we, we carry our identification uh, um, uh, ids so that we are identified and are able to um, uh, uh, conduct ourselves in that manner so mm. we are very concerned that members of uh, so the society are beginning to um, use our our material in an unauthorized form. Yeah. What, what charges then does this individual face? Well, it, it's, it's being in possession of an unauthorized material which belongs and is registered uh, in, under the SANDF. And those charges can go up to uh, five years in jail. Mm. Th those are very serious, um, you know, uh, uh, charges there. And it would be advised to avoid any interaction whatsoever uh, with, uh, you know, any SNDF material, marking, crests, um, patents, etc. What's your warning right now? The concern has been raised. But let's perhaps re-emphasize this warning once again, Mr. Tlamini, because, I mean, the SNDF represents the, you know, army that protects uh, this country. And, and once anyone crosses that line, they 
then state security, as you've mentioned, uh, is equally compromised. What would be your, 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 your concern, but also your warning at this time to perhaps even someone else currently continuing on with the manufacturing of such clothing? You, you've actually painted a very, very important picture. We, we, we are supposed to, we are in fact the custodian of uh, um, security and, and um, we are the, the only institution that is um, mandated uh, to look after the interest of the Republic, uh, whether the, the, the adversaries are internally or externally, it is our responsibility to make sure that South Africa as a Republic is safely guarded. And it's important that people realize the seriousness of possessing such information, because it can be used as the comments that I've seen in the social media that this material can be used for criminal activity. Right. Because we are identified uh, by that, uh, even before we take out our, our um, identification, mm. we are identified by, the, by the, the cloth that we wear, and it's easy for people to, be, to, to mistake those who are in possession without authority to be members of the SANDF. Mm. I think I recall if I may share this one uh, such a uh, person who was not authorized used the material to break into somebody's home because the person inside the house thought it was a military person, but we were able to apprehend that person. Yeah. So that's how serious it is because this may, might be misused for criminal activity. And I hope the message is loud and clear to those listening to us right now. Mr. Tlamini, thank you so much for placing this uh, you know, story to the fore and speaking to me about it. That's Piwa Tlamini, Head of Communications Art at the SANDF. And just giving a stern warning that, that as the custodians of state security in this country, please do not engage in such a criminal activity. That could see you landing in jail for up to five years if you are seen uh, you know, mimicking or even imitating wearing manufacturing clothing affiliated to the SANDF.